Hello, welcome to another video. This one is going to be about aphids control. Uh, you will get them, you're guaranteed to get them. We've got them twice already um, for, I think, like two years running. Um, you can make your own sprays, which uh, apparently is very, very uh, successful. Or you can buy, um, you can actually buy an in, in insecticide, which we're not using this year um, due to just just the fact that we don't want to like kill off all the other bugs which could be killing off the aphids or or pollinating the plants so we've made this concoction up I've made some at home as well this is the basic one this is basically just um, washing up liquid I'm not gonna mention a brand due to legal reasons and um, <laughs> it's about a teaspoon to a litre give or take and then water um, in my one at home I've added um, some chilli extract oil because apparently aphids don't like that I added a clove of garlic or garlic oil because apparently they don't like that I added washing up liquid and I added um, some just like standard oil that you'd put in a frying pan to it as well so basically those are all the things that you could add um, to it to like different sprays and I just chucked them all in one spray and I'm using that on my plants now as you can see if you can see we've got quite the uh, infestation on this one and uh, I mean you can give the plant a bit of a, a shake before you start just to get them a bit loose and then you give them a bit of a spray. Some of them will fall off in the shape. Now the purpose of the washing up liquid is that it ruins the oil, oil coating on the aphids and stops them being able to breathe. So, but as eggs will hatch you need to do it consistently for about a week at least. I like recommend doing it a day anyway. well and truly covered now in washing up liquid. Now another method which uh, we found to be quite good is uh, the use of spraying a hose on the plant. Now, this plant over here I would suggest would be like a typical height in which you should use a hose because if it's a smaller plant it could just completely destroy it. Now um, I'm not trusted with a hose um, so I will be passing you over to my colleague soon, but before that, I'd just like to mention that some of these um, jalapenos have got some rotting on them, and we think this may be to do with uh, the aphids which have been eating the plant. Um, if you have any suggestions, though, on, um, on the rotting, like if you know, if you've seen it before in the past and know exactly what it is, then... Um, uh, comments would be nice just to help us out. That's where I'm you out. So, yes, we'll pass you over now um, and you'll see you in a minute. Bye! Now, you don't have to be um, <laughs> a rocket scientist to know how to spray a plant with a hose so we're not being patronizing by going this is how to spray a plant with a hose it's just um, just basically showing you just that we're doing it and probably come back to the plants later and have a look see if there's any aphids there will be some but hopefully there'll be less that's it from us bye hello Welcome back. Um, I may seem a little bit off um, because I've just eaten them. Um, it's Vina and um, I wasn't I wasn't too well. We didn't record it because I wanted to uh, I wanted to see how it was going to be and my limits. And basically, the next time I eat one, I'm not going to swallow it because I can't actually stomach them. So I just <laughs> spent about 20 minutes regurgitating the damn thing. So anyway, aphids plant. Now, as I said earlier, there's still going to be a few, but if you remember looking at the leaf before, this leaf here was covered 
and we've only got about five there. Now the best thing to do with these ones are to just run your thumb over them and squish them. It's very therapeutic as well. You can go through the whole plant and do that. Or you could spray them again, I suppose, if you really, really wanted to. A lot of them seem are a bit dead and just fall off anyway because of the uh, solution we sprayed on them. So, just to make sure you get rid of them. So yeah, I'll just go through the through it and check them all out and just wipe them all off. Yeah, those are all dead. There's a big one. Big leaf at the back. That one? Yeah. There's quite a few on there. Quite a lot on that one, but they're all just falling off. Being squished. So this is the best method, is to just do a quick tidy up afterwards, because there will be a, well there should be a lot less. So yeah. Is that it? Yep. Goodbye from us. Bye.